Hello everyone, uh, welcome to IGN's exclusive reveal of Victor, the new next League of Legends champion. I'm Anthony Gallegos, with me is Nick Cullen. Hey everyone. And so here's Victor in action. Well, let's go back a little bit. So we'll start uh, with by going over some of Victor's powers. The first tier that you're seeing, this is his ultimate. He basically can summon this storm cloud. It's called Chaos Storm, right? Chaos Storm, yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is a, uh, it's a mobile uh, area of effect spell. And basically what it does is, is see, it, it instantly keeps moving, but then anywhere Victor clicks or he shoots a spell, it starts moving in the direction of, of that. And it looks like it moves faster the closer it is to Victor. Yeah, that's correct. So, the, so if it's close to Victor, you know, he can have it out on the periphery going really slow, or he can get close to it and you'll see it rapidly speed up. Effectively, you know, if he wants to cast it out in front of him, he could run alongside it and have like this kind of whirlwind of death following mm -hmm. him. So it looks a lot like... I mean, it looks like it could function a lot like, say, Fiddlesticks' ult, uh, which is just like an AoE that, where he can move around while it's on, except that uh, it looks like Victor has a little more control. I don't know if it's going to deal quite as much damage as Fiddlesticks. It doesn't look like it will. No, I don't think so. Um, but it's going to provide, it looks like, a lot more utility. You could use it on the other side of a wall uh, while you remain on the safer side. But it looks like there's a lot of function you can have there. Yeah, Victor's a mage, if you couldn't tell. Okay. I mean, he's a... And, and the way he was described to me by the right people was he's a sustained damage mage. He does okay. not like a, he can build him like a glass cannon, but mm -hmm. sustained damage is really his role. Cool. So next up here, we get to see Victor's, uh, that's his ba base magic missile. It's called power transfer. And you can shoot it at a farther range as you saw there with the range. But uh, you know, if you shoot it at max range, it might, from what I understand, it won't bounce back and give you a shield, which is, this is Victor because huh. he's a mid range mage you want to be able to shoot them and have it bounce back, which gives him a damage shield. So and that, damage is, that damage shield is a portion of the damage dealt, right? Yeah, yeah, cool. yeah, exactly. So it's a little bit different to, uh, say, Vladimir, who uh, gets a portion, who gets like a flat amount healed regardless of how much damage he deals. This is actually adjusted by how much magic resistance your opponent has. Yeah, so, so this is basically just, you know, like I said, he's a sustained damage mage. So he needs to get in close, and he needs to be able to take it on the chin a little bit. Mm -hmm. So, and they suggested, you know, if, if you're going to build him out, you can build him like a, a straight AP mage if you want, but you should make him a little more tanky okay. because a lot of his stuff is fairly close range. So something like Rod of Ages would be a good, good yeah, end. exactly. Um, and then next we have Victor's next ability. I'll just here we go. So this is a uh, this is Victor's. Trap. This is his uh, E ability, or no, sorry, his W ability. So basically what it does is he throws down what's called a graviton field, and anybody within it gets slowed. If they stay in it long enough, they mm -hmm. get completely stunned. So it actually builds stacks every, I think it's every half second that you're in that AoE, and once it reaches three stacks, you get a one and a half second stun. Exactly, so you see her moving, 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 bam. Ouch. She's stopped, she's okay. stunned. Mm -hmm. uh, so one of the ways that they described that to me was if you take that and you pair it with uh, this, you could basically create like a stun field on one side and trap them with that. Wow, and so okay. basically they have to mm -hmm. choose whether they're gonna run and get stunned or take, or damage. take damage. And then yeah. if they get stunned, they can do both. Exactly. So, you know, that's how you can become particularly nasty. Uh, the final and probably coolest visual effect of Victor's abilities is his death ray, um, which you see here. So it has that, first off you select the area of effect. Nice. You select anywhere in that area of effect for it. It hits instantly at the starting point and then does a skill shot from there. So it looks like uh, Rumble's ult in terms of like how it's used. It, you, you click on a spot and you drag to determine the direction it's in. Correct. It, it doesn't actually, actually have to come from Victor. Uh, it, can, it can go pretty much uh, anywhere. It can start anywhere within that circle and go in a straight line anywhere from that point. Correct. And they said it actually works best at close range because the closer you are, it's much harder for people to dodge it because mm -hmm. it, it, that first hit is always instant. Uh, okay. So you, if you put it right on someone, you can instant hit them, whereas you see it kind of drags across the line really slow, so yeah. they could potentially run. And the coolest thing, if you know, we go back and just look at all of Victor's powers, is you have to remember, other characters give like an air, a team buff, that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Victor's special ability is that he starts with an item. And so this, this is his passive. This is his passive. So he starts with an item, it's called Evolving Technology, uh, it's a hex core that gives him additional stats, and it can be upgraded in the store. You can purchase a one-time upgrade. It cannot be sold back. And basically, the purchasable upgrade augments one of his three abilities. The Q ability that you saw there bounces back, and it gives him a 30% or so uh, run speed increase. Mm -hmm. So he becomes, uh, you know, obviously, he gets a damage shield, and on top of that, he has a, the ability to run. Great way to get away yeah. from a fight. Um, 
This one, his, uh, his, sorry, his, uh, I'm spacing on what it's called. That's great. Gravity field. This graviton field, yeah. It basically uh, greatly decreases the amount of time it takes for it to turn into a stun. So, you know, he could potentially uh, throw that down and you're within it for half the time and mm -hmm. you get stunned, depending on how it levels up. And it should be noted that the hex core, depending on how you upgrade it, also changes the stats that it upgrades. Okay. So the most AP-focused one is actually the uh, the next one, the death ray. When you, that's the most AP-focused one. So it changes the death ray, it makes it do much more damage, and it does the damage over time, which you can actually see right there. She's taking the yeah. damage over time as well. Very so cool. that's how you can augment it. You basically augment it to the play styles that you like. So you could really be a support character with that uh, AoE slow and stun. You could be a, a DPS caster with the death ray, or you can be sort of a tanky DPS uh, with that that shield absorb and yeah. get, get it in and out, maybe a little bit more assassin style. So this yeah. is him in action. Yes. Now I just want you to rewind it a little bit because sure. something important just happened there. Uh, while he's casting that, that death ray, you'll see he's running while that's he casting. Is. Yeah. So he can actually run, he can cast that on the fly. There's no cast time, uh, it's purely instant and it, it continues to channel while he's moving. That's a, that's a big deal. Right there he shot Shaka with the thing to give him a damage shield, shot the death ray and then put down the shield to stun Shaka and then hits him again with another magic missile to give himself a, a shield again. So he can, he's popping that pretty fast. We'll go back just a second. That is, uh, now I just want to point out that he moved his ultimate right around the corner and yeah. helped get that kill. That was very cool. Yeah, and as, as you see, he's constantly popping that mm -hmm. damage shield, you know? Yeah, and it looks like it's absorbing a lot of damage. He is, yeah, I mean, even right here, you know, these people are chasing him, bam, he throws down the shield, stuns two of them, Great a whole team bunch support. of minions too. Exactly with that death ray. <laughs> now he's shooting, bouncing back a shield to himself. There's a lot of crowd control on that team. Yes. Yes. I mean, obviously, you know, he he makes good crowd control. Yeah. You know, and, and when this team comes in and thinks they're going to initiate, you know, he throws down that thing and stuns them all. Can really screw a team up. But it looks like because that uh, that AOE slow has a fairly long cooldown. If he misses that, uh, he's pretty much without defense. His shield will take a, a little shield bit. Will absorb a little bit, but other than that, he's pretty much a free kill. Which is why you kind of need to build him a little bit more tanky. Yeah, you know, to be able to take it on the chin a little bit. Mm -hmm. I mean, even here we see, you know, oh, here's some Dominion gameplay with mm -hmm. him. I could see how he could be really good at Dominion because he's a great harassment person. He can slow yeah. them constantly. He can do mm -hmm. that damage shield to let them live. Dive right under the towers. Now that was a cool move. I want you to rewind it just a little bit there. Yeah, sure. Uh, he casts ahead of. Uh, Ahead of, I think that's uh, that's the nine tail fox. Uh, cast ahead of her and gets her while she's running. I don't know if he actually hits her several times there. It's kind of tough to tell. With the uh, death ray? Yeah. Yeah, I think yeah he casts it ahead of her so it burns her, it, and then it's probably doing damage over time depending yeah. on how he augmented. It was just cool because uh, it meant that if even if you missed that initial burst, exactly, you get it, her it can somewhere catch up along to her. the line. Yeah. yeah. And he didn't have to stop chasing her after that. So if, even if that, uh, even that, if that completely whiffed and he missed it or completely, he could chase her up, maybe hit her with the graviton field, uh, and catch Bam. her. Bam! That's her. instant. You know, he slowed him with wow. the graviton field, hit him with mm -hmm. the, the laser, and then now finishes him off with his ultimate. Now watch this ultimate. It goes yeah, around the corner. Yeah, see how fast it's corner. following. It's it's following the direction that he's following. Uh huh. That's very cool. Yeah, it effectively makes him that, that's dangerous like, when he's chasing after you. Yeah, he basically it basically turns into uh, into fiddlesticks. But without a teleport and a little more mobility. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean, he's a really cool champion. The fact that you can augment his abilities, change him into these various things, you see that with a team member who does good damage, I mean, he can become, you know, pretty mm -hmm. formidable. Yeah, I don't know how much damage he'll be able to do on his own, uh, but it looks like he he'll be able to fit into virtually any caster role he feels like, which is something uh, I, I primarily play support characters, so I think I'll actually be able to appreciate that where I. I'll have the flexibility to fit my team almost on the fly. Yeah, he's a really cool looking champion. I, I like him. Uh, we cannot wait to play him. Yeah. Uh, for more on League of Legends and as well as future champion updates, keep it locked to IGN.com.